Hey, my name is Gerd Aufert. I'm the chair of the University Eye Clinic in Heidelberg. And I'm here on the meeting to present a couple of data, especially here on the RENA C-Flex and uh, Superflex lenses, uh, aberration neutral intraocular lens. We've learned the last couple of years that correcting corneal aberration may be advantageous. However, it's very difficult to see what kind of aberration the patient has beforehand, before you do the surgery. So actually, in order to uh, look at this, you have to examine these patients extensively to see that, and then adapt your IOL technology and look for the right uh, aberration correcting intraocular lens. An aberration neutral lens like the C-Flex or the Superflex can really handle that problem quite easily because you're not depending on a certain value. Another thing which is advantageous in this context is that decentration of an aberration correcting intraocular lens can lead to some problems. After like half a millimeter of decentration, the patient will have visual disturbances. With the aberration neutral lens, this is not the case. And it really helps the doctor in his daily practice to compensate uh, these things with a lens like this. Both lenses are the same platform in terms of their design. And they are extremely flexible and very easy to implant. Um, we actually use these lenses uh, for our residents to start with because uh, they don't do any harm when you implant them in the capsular bag because of the softness of the lens. And even if you, at the first implantation uh, process, don't get both haptics directly in the capsular bag, you can easily manipulate the lens inside the capsular bag. I like that very much also in the toric version where I can turn around the lens in the right axis very easily without damaging the um, capsular bag or damaging the zonules. So it's an extremely easy to handle uh, lens. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the current uh, study will extend to three years to follow up uh, on this uh, group of patients. But we have a so-called premium lens project where we look at the entire platform, the multifocals, the multifocal toric, and the toric version of the C-Flex and Superflex. Uh, we're following those patients up over several years. So on, on really on, on an annual basis, they come back and get re-evaluated and the specifics of the lenses, if it's a multifocal toric and so on, are examined. And this way, I think we have a very good overlook over long-term performance. Well, the basic thing in intraocular lens technology is that you have a very good platform. You know, that the lens design, the haptics, the material is good. Then it really doesn't matter what kind of optic you put on this. If it's a multifocal, if it's a monofocal, aberration neutral, if the platform itself performs very well in the capsular bag, if the implantation is easy, if there's a good refractive reliability, then you're always at a good point.